nation against nation brother against brother. good evening and welcome to deliverance church langata this is the biblical perspective program uh, we're so glad to be able to come back to you and be able to converse things surrounding uh, matters that are in the public domain in both the print and the electronic media and with me today is a gentleman who I have had tremendous respect for because of the value system that guides what he does. Uh, he was very involved in the season before elections, uh, meeting all the people who are contesting various positions within the uh, within Langata constituency and uh, having them have a conversation. And he has been involved also in spearheading agendas that touch on uh, variable living, uh, protecting life, uh, fight against uh, abortion and other things like that uh, uh, with others. And uh, this is none other than Gerard uh, Mwangi. Yes. Uh, water fang? Water fang. Yes. Water fang. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. <Dr>. Perry. <laughs> yes. I'm, yes. I'm glad that you were able to come. Yes. Uh, the last recording I did yeah was with uh, Vincent Kimoso. Yes, good friend, Vincent, <laughs> yes. And, uh, and uh, before that, before actually Vincent, yes. the other person I had here uh, in December yeah. was a, a, a friend who is now deceased. Yeah. And that is uh, Dr. Mwiti. Oh, God bless his soul. God bless his soul. That, uh, he's a good I, mentor. I was, a I was, mentor. I was very, very... Uh, yeah. I, 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 I couldn't, I mean, when I learned that he had been murdered, I, yeah. I, I felt so, so painful. Yeah. Because I said, how would anybody want to kill an 82-year-old man yes. who is yeah. living at the, uh, you know, I mean, why? Why? That, that is uh, a question. But nevertheless, yeah. we, we, let's, we, let's wait to see yeah. what will come out. Yeah. Uh, now, uh, the paper today, uh, the headline in the nation, yeah is about Matiangi uh, being at a police siege yeah. and uh, and I don't know what you think about this because yeah. I don't think there's any story out. We, yeah. we all are waiting. Yes. yes. Because yeah. the last the last I had Matiangi yeah. is when he was with the former president yeah. when the Former president went to condole, condole the family yeah. of uh, uh, the family Dr. of Mango, Dr. Yes. Mango, yeah. Mango, Professor, yeah. Professor. Yeah. So, and yeah. since they left office, yeah. But I don't know. I don't know what has uh, what has yeah. happened. I mean, yeah. but I would yeah. hate to know to to think that this yeah. can be done just for the sheer, you know, just trying to. Yeah. Intimidated or doing things. My prayer is yeah. they have a, they have a reason. Uh, Doctor, and that reason yeah. should come out early yeah. because uh, people want to know. Yeah. This yeah. one, I'm just as blind. Uh, <laughs> in fact, the photo that yeah. is before, uh, yeah. maybe for our viewers yeah. who may not have seen it, I am just exactly as this photo. I have no idea. Mm. <laughs> what is happening? Yeah. But uh, when I read such headlines, mm. um, my prayer is that uh, our culture of um, what we call wish hunting is not the one. Mm. And my prayer is that uh, one of the things I've hoped is, is that the current government does not fall into the trap of pursuing people for the sake of political experience. And I know it's, it's easier said than done because we also know the truth of that every successful government and previous may have caused pain to individuals who become part of the new government. So mm -hmm. the culture that I'm praying for and the culture that the church must help this country to adopt, and it has to start within the church itself, is that mm -hmm. you must learn to have a forgiving heart, as painful as things may be, but also to be the leader in that forgiveness. Mm. Yeah. And this includes where we live, in neighborhoods. Mm. If I have an issue with you and I can't forgive you, for example, and then I find, for example, that uh, yesterday you packed your vehicle badly and 
instead of me coming to have a conversation with you and moving away from that so we teach the others, the next day I also pack mine to teach mm. you a lesson, then what happens is the people observing begin to think that's normal. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And when we normalize that, it becomes a dangerous place for all of us. Yeah. So my prayer is, I do not know, I don't have the facts, I have no clue what is mm -hmm. going on, but my prayer is that it does not become a tit for tat, a lesson yeah. for lesson. Yeah. Wow, wow. Mm -hmm. I do know that <laughs> there are things that everybody should learn. Yeah. And uh, that's why I'm very happy that the president, yeah. uh, Dr. William Ruto, has told civil servants, yeah. please stay out of politics. That is the best news I've had. Yeah, stay that out of politics. That is the best news I've had. Because yes. the biggest yes. mistake that happened yeah. in the former administration yes. yeah. is that our former president yeah. allowed civil servants, civil servants to enter to into politics. politics. Yes. yes. And, yeah. and even now, should yeah. this gentleman have... Uh, Suffer for any reason. Yeah. It can only for, it can only suffer because of things that he did. Yeah. But like you have said correctly. Yeah. Uh, I know that the president uh, was on record to say. Yeah. Considering the issues that he's dealing as a president for the country. For the country, yes. Yeah. He did not want to follow up some stuff. Like yeah. now, because I remember when he was interviewed and he was asked, yeah. what are you doing uh, regarding the people who disrupted the process at Bombers of Kenya? Yes. Uh, and yeah. he said, listen, yeah. I, I, I don't have time for that right now. Yeah. Because I'm really concerned about what to do for yeah. the welfare of the Kenyan people. Yeah. We entered this position with certain promises expected. Yeah. They are struggling. So, yeah. so really, uh, I really felt that was a very, very good response. Yeah. Dr. I, you know what I say? And, yeah. and on this point, I want to sympathize with the president yeah. and all leaders who come in yeah. to a position where you have to sometimes, quote unquote, clean up. Mm. Uh, Indeed, you may use the intelligence and the knowledge, mm. but it calls more for the wisdom. Yeah. Because things are not black and white. Mm. And I sympathize with him sincerely because mm. there are things you know that you have promised. Mm. But there's also the reality of the things that you know. Yeah. And sometimes I know in all governments, just mm. like in homes, every home also has certain things they do not say outside there. Mm. Because saying it would disrupt uh, the peace of yeah. people out yeah, there. Yeah. So you have to balance that. My prayer is, and it will be painful for him mm. in the five years, yeah. is that you have to draw a line and say, this is a clean slate. Mm. And you'll be thrown mad also because even I, it's like when I'm doing stuff, I'm not always doing things correctly. Yeah. So as I'm trying to do things correctly, I'll be reminded that even you did this, but a leader overcomes that. Mm. I did it, but since I did it, I know. Mm. And I must clean it because I know what it has done to everybody yeah. else. So for this one, he has to draw a clean slate mm -hmm. and he has to start now demonstrating mm -hmm. how the clean slate works. Yeah. I like something that I read, and I think it was from you, yeah. about also now having ambassadors and people trying to, to help the nation understand what is this person about? Mm -hmm. why, why are you calling for taxes? And what will taxes do? If we, yeah. don't, if we don't remit our taxes, mm. what will that the do to the what nation? Are the yes. And if you have demonstrated that the Kibaki government was able to use its internal taxes yes. and able to drive this country, mm. then where did we lose it and why must we get back to that? And how can we be able to, to bring a change that is positive? That is po yes. Yeah, I, I yeah. agree. So that is one Yesterday, step. I, yes. I had an opportunity of yeah. reasoning to yeah. Professor Dungo, yes. a comment about the state of the economy. Yeah. Uh, and uh, according to Professor yeah. Njuguna yeah. and Dungo, and uh, he, he said some things that are very, very important for understanding yeah. about what is the state of the economy. Yeah. Uh, and, 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 and these are realities. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, because you cannot leave people uh, to yeah. keep guessing what what the is the expectation economy, yes yeah, uh, yeah. and uh, I, I would like us to bring some of some of the things he brought yeah. uh, because we are the people who should tell people this is what this is what is, is happening, happening. Yeah. Uh, yeah because if you if people don't know yeah. 
then uh, you know people act in whatever way they can. Yeah. yeah. And uh, he said, yeah. and we need to hear to him. Yeah. He said that Kenya is in a financial hole. Yeah. That's a very huge statement. Yes. Coming from the person who Who's is the charged with yeah. the responsibility yeah. of knowing about the state of economy. Yeah. Simply put, the country is in a financial hole, and yeah. don't know how equating the national budget yeah. to a household budget says the available resources were less than the listed the expenses, yes. asking Kenyans to be patient. Yeah. His concession on the state of the country's economy dampens hopes of yeah. reduced cost of living for millions of Kenyans yeah. currently in distress. Yeah. I know that, I don't know who is the current government spokesman. I don't know who is the government uh, spokesman. Current, I've not also... Uh, because you know... Good being the one exiting, I've not heard... I, I, since they're the one yes. who exited. Yes. Because let me tell you, yeah. one of the yeah. things I think is very important, yeah. and if I would, you know, talk to the president today, I would yeah. say, yeah. please, one of the things that is very important yeah. is to have somebody who speaks for government. Yes. Who can clarify some what things. What happened, yes. Because yeah. as long as people yeah. have understanding. Yeah. You see, like now, for me, yeah. and, and this gentleman says very well, he said yeah. that, uh, simply put, the country yeah. is in financial, and don't, while equating yeah. the national budget with the whole household budget, listen, yes. in yeah. your house, yes. yeah. there are certain basic expenses. Yes. That you can't do away yes. with. And they are recurrent. And they are recurrent. <laughs> yes. So yes. what you do yeah. as a head of the family yeah. uh, is to sit down with your wife and yes. say, this is what we have. Yeah. Uh, how do we prioritize on, yes. on, on, on what we things. do on yeah. this? Yeah. Uh, and, and, and talking about taxes, yeah. what people need to understand all yeah. along yeah. is that the, uh, the reality yeah. of expenditure yeah. is should be subjected yeah. to what is it's real coming in. and yes. what is coming in. Yes. And, and I usually it's, say, yeah. in any government, yeah. not only Kenya, but yeah. anywhere around in, the, in world, the world, yes. if you don't balance expenditure and income, income. Yes. you're in yes. trouble. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So you, you all budgets me, must, yes. Before <laughs> I, I went yeah. to the ministry, yes. I worked as a civil servant. Yes. And at one time, I was working in the salary section. Uh -huh. In fact, yeah. I was working uh, in the you realize, in the office of the president, yeah. uh, connecting the, the main office of the president and the attorney general. Yeah. There's, a, there's an office that protrudes out there. Okay. Uh, yeah. That's where the salary sections. And those times, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> thank God for technology today, today yeah. we were dealing with regers. Yes. Where you would open a reger yeah. and you're looking yes. through records and doing whatever. Yes. And the key thing is, yeah. is even then, yeah. was the balance purchases yes. were subjected to yeah. what was called local purchase yes. order, yeah. which was signed by the, uh, the person who was the uh, IU holder. Yes. That IU holder is the authority, the authority to, to, expen to, uh, to, to incur expenditure. expenditure. Yes. And, yes. and I was dealing directly. Yes. And I still remember. Yes. Uh, I don't know. I don't, that lady sometimes I meet her. Yes. I was dealing yeah. with, her, with, with her, the lady, uh, Margaret uh, Gethenji, who became a PS, but ah, at that yes. time was the undersecretary. Yes. And yes. I could go with yeah. an LPO. Yes. But for her to sign, sign. she has to see. She had to confirm. Yes. That there are funds and for that to be expended. For that to be done. Yes. And indeed. sometimes she would say, no, yes. you're going to, this one we cannot say. Yes, yes, yes. Do you understand? And it happens everywhere, even in the not for profit sector. Yeah. For you to be able to receive the next tranche of your donation, yeah. you have to show what you spent yeah. against the budget that you provided. Yes, yes. If it is not, yes. then they will not release. Yes. And then if you also overexpended, yeah. Sometimes you are told that comes out of your own, <laughs> not the <laughs> donation that we are giving. Yes. Yeah. So, so, so yes. the reality yeah. uh, is that uh, yeah. even now, uh, yeah. I do know the, the accountants like CIA, yeah. and I don't know where else, yeah. this, they, they, they did, it came public that there was a, there was a routing that was done yes. just at the yeah. point of transition. Yes. And by the way, I can yes. say this without fear of contradiction, yes. yeah. in every transition, that is where the theft takes place. In every transition, <laughs> yes. there is some theft that takes yes, place. Yes, that is, is where the theft because takes place. Because you see, yes. my thinking is this. Yeah. Why would you be stealing yeah. 
from the public coffers yeah. during transition, yes. thinking that you'll be punishing the president that is coming the, or, or, in. Or, or the second, governor. Or let me tell you, or the <laughs> governor or anybody, yes, because yes, it's not yes, the governor you will yes, punish. Yes. You yes. are punishing the citizens. The citizens. Yes. Yes, but also there, Daktari, yeah. this citizen that we are addressing, and these are our good, wonderful viewers, yeah. should also now stop being at the mercy <laughs> of individuals because uh, chapter, I mean the preamble of our constitution, yeah. speaks about we the people. Yeah. This waiting also to be helped by a messiah yeah. while you have the tools that are there, including the budgets and including the, the constitution. We must now train our people to be able to detect this. Because when, when they still, it is not anybody else who is suffering, but you, the citizen, who is out there. So some of these things, I think, also from the lack of being engaged as a citizen is costing us. And it is 60 years, Daktari. We do not have any other excuse. 60 no, it, years as an <coughs> elder. You see, you see, yes. Let me tell you. Yes. If, yeah. if our former president yeah. built on the legacy of, of yeah. Mwai Kibaki, yeah. we will not be where yeah. we are today. Yeah. Because, yeah. Uh, let me tell you, uh, yeah. uh, in reality, let's talk, you know, Turkey. You yeah. know, that's what Americans would say. Yes. Talk <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. This country, yeah. Yeah. this country yeah. is a very blessed country. Yes. Yeah. Because the only reason and the way we have survived Violent. from what can be called an economic Disaster. meltdown <laughs> yes. Yes. is the resilience yeah. of the people of, of, this the people of this country. Yes, indeed. Uh, because yeah. uh, Kenyans can be very resilient. Yeah. But, but what I don't like, you have yeah. something you have mentioned, which yeah. has been my concern yeah. for a long time. Yeah. Why have we given so much power to politicians yes. as if we have become yeah. their hostages? Yes, yes. That yeah. even when we have gone through an election yeah. that we, was peaceful, yes. that was celebrated not only yeah. locally but internationally, yeah. then yeah. several months after the election, no, yes. somebody calls the press yeah. and announced there's been a dossier yeah. proving yeah. that the but person who a, lost the election yes. is one who had won. won. Yes. And even gives data. Yes. In yeah. my view, yeah. I think Parliament should register it, yeah. in my view. Yeah. That yeah. any person who calls a press yeah. to make an indictment of that magnitude yes. should not be yeah. left to God's cause. Yes, proof. They like need that. to be able to prove. Yeah. Yeah. Because it is now causing a lot of anxiety. Yeah. You have and seen the rally that was in Kamukonji, yes. Jakaranda, and yeah. all that was in Kibera. Yeah. And you yeah. can see the kind of excitement that some of these people yeah. are, are um, being subjected to. Yeah. And, and I told somebody, yeah. why, why are these people giving yes. Kenyans the, empty hope? Yeah. As yeah. if whatever happened can with the reverse. ruling yes. of, the, of the Supreme Court judges yes. can be reversed. That is a good observation. There's a, a commentator, and yeah. I, will, I will ask everybody to go and watch and listen to Ahmed Abdul Nasil. Not yeah. that I listen to everything yeah. and agree with everything he yeah. says. Yeah. Uh, although he is also my senior from yeah. my alumni school. Yeah. Yes. Uh, but on the last one, which yeah. was about two days ago, yeah. if any Kenyan listens to what he is saying, and he is a supporter of Kenya Kwanzaa, yeah. he does not apologize for it, yeah. but he also started poking holes within his own uh, support. Mm. Uh, first, I want to draw us to the attention of what has happened in this country. He asked, why is it so difficult for a Kenyan to ask? Mm why we are where we are. And he said, number one, mm. the judiciary system is broken down. Mm. And he called it corrupt. Mm. And he called it for what it is. Number two, he said, and for those judiciary office, officials who are there, mm. why is it we as Kenyans cannot ask very simple things? I know things can become very complex when you are leading mm. Mm. and following policy and documentation. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. he said there are very simple things in this life you can look at. Daktari, mm -hmm. if I am a judge mm -hmm. and I'm earning over 800,000 a month, yet I am going to pick my children and put them in a school that is costing you one million each per term, mm -hmm. and you are taking three, four children there, mm -hmm. why is it the citizen is not asking, how is it, you are, how is it that mm -hmm. you are able to do that? Mm -hmm. And then he said... Mm. He lived in South Sea himself, but mm. he's in private practice. Mm. So he may probably makes profit out of the work that he mm -hmm, does. Mm -hmm. But he says, you are a magistrate yeah. or a judge. 
who has mm. been living in South Sea. Yes. Suddenly, when you have been promoted to a judge, you are moving from there to live to Karen Runda or whichever mm -hmm, place. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How, what miracle is this you are doing as a government official? And you have worked with the public service. Yeah. You know what the salaries are. Yes. The Service Remuneration Commission has been giving us the data of all the salaries. Yeah. What magic is this you are doing? Mm -hmm. And so, in essence, what he was trying to say is that we have become so corrupt that we have made corruption the norm. And yeah. we are not asking questions. Now, Coming back to this, uh, when people are calling rallies and calling for politicians, these are politicians. These are and, politicians. I and I tell people, politics is a job like any other job. Yeah. So if you go and train in marketing, yeah. you are trained to make sales mm -hmm. or how to reduce the sales of your opponent. Mm -hmm. So for me, what uh, the former prime minister is doing is just trying to reduce sales of the current president. The current president. And the current president will understand that. Yeah. Now, what is difficult is for the person who is following. This is do it. you understand whether the sales are helping you <laughs> or do you understand whether yeah. the sales are helping the nation? Yes. Now, if I to conclude with Ahmed Nasir, yeah. is he said, is yes, this Continue. country, yes. for you to fix the country, mm. you got to pick credible people. Right. And you got to be so, 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 um, uh, what do you call it, committed to doing that, mm. that it will even cost you friendship. Right. And for you to fix Kenya, you must look at the data that is freely available. These are credible people. Mm. And when they enter into those positions, mm. it's not fast to look for where they will live. No. In fact, one of the key characters is when you hear a person saying, I will remain where I am. Why is it the CBK governor? Today, mm. who was appointed, given two cars, refused to take the cars, mm. given a new place to live, refused to go to that place. Yeah. Why? Because he understood that my role is to serve Kenyans, yeah. not Kenyans to serve me. Right. And if I leave that office and you want to give me a gift, then I will accept when let I'm me leaving. Let me tell yes. you, yeah. we need yeah. good Kenyans. Yes. Yeah. What we lack most of the times yeah. is good, reasonable Kenyans. Yes. And because we are running all of this uh, yeah. time, yeah. we will uh, carry on this conversation yeah. because Kenya yeah. needs men and women yeah. who care about for the, the welfare yes. of the country. Yes. And yeah. my question I'm asking myself, and I can ask those opposition leaders, yeah. what you are trying to do to yeah. agitate people who are hungry it, that's People them. who <laughs> are subjected yeah. to the severe drought, drought that we are going through, yeah. even as we uh, we conclude this uh, a, this this this, yeah. this program today, yeah. we yeah. are appealing to all of you to yeah. pray for the nation. Yeah. And I know, and I'm private of the fact that yeah. a solemn assembly has been organised, yeah. uh, and I hope this program can come in time like you would know. But a solemn assembly is organized already mm -hmm. that will take place at the Nyayo National Stadium mm -hmm. uh, on, on Tuesday. I believe it will be on the 14th. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, as many as can come so we can plead for God's mercy yeah. to resolve the drought situation and completely uh, settle the political dust yeah. that is being uh, stormed, that is being created. Yeah. And Kenyans, please, let's just be reasonable. Let's understand. Let us not be fools. Yeah. When the Supreme Court unanimously yes. yeah. upheld the election of one Dr. William Ruto, yeah. so, that crossed the matter. Do yeah. not be fooled by any politicians. Yeah. Yeah. There is nothing that can change. Yeah. There is no court that can overthrow the Supreme Court. Mm. And if there was a dossier, it should have gone to the Supreme Court. Court. Yeah. And that's my take. Uh, I want you to pray to close this pro first program. Oh, okay. Heavenly Father, we come before you to thank you for this wonderful nation we call Kenya. You gave us a beautiful country. You gave us a place where we can be able to prosper, a place where we can find everything that is required. Father, I pray for this nation. I pray for the leaders of this nation, including the president, former president, the former prime minister, all the leaders who call themselves leaders, that indeed may they have the spirit of loving this country to be fast 
servants of this nation. And then later, Lord, that you who can see our hearts will be able to reward them according to your will. I pray for the citizens of this nation, Father, that they do not become docile. They do not just become sheep that just follows without asking, that you guide them, that you know, that you help them to know the truth, the heart of each politician that stands before them. And because of this, Father, we pray that for the deeds that we have done wrong, may you forgive us for the blood that we may have shed in this country that is not of your will, that is not of your pleasing. May we be forgiven for the things that we utter in this country that are not of your spirit, Father. May we be forgiven. But at this time, Father, as we pray, I pray that the leaders ahead of us may have the wisdom to sit together, to sit in a room and truly look at each other in their eye and say, what are we doing for this country? What are we doing for our children? What are we doing for our grandchildren? May they be able to have the spirit to say, Honestly, I confess that I have failed in this part. But because I have failed, may we work together. And in the places of our differences, may we come out in unity to show this country that we can work together. Father, I am reminded of President Obama and McCain when they came together in the problems of 2007. They were in separate camps. But because of the spirit of the country and the love of the nation, they came together and were able to solve the, the crisis of that nation and the world global crisis. May we have our president seat with also Honorable Raida Odinga, with former President Uhuru Kenyatta, with also all their troops. And may they sit down and look at this nation and see the gift they have been given. And Father, I want to pray that you continue to bless this particular program that is reaching out to our citizens, our congregants, people who love this country, people who feel this country. May you help them also to harness the energy that is positive to lead this nation away from from the crisis of environmental disaster, away from the, the, the famine that we are facing, away from the poverty that we may have created ourselves, away from all the hatred that may be spurred between us because of politics. May you help us to see that we are great, this country is greater than an individual, that this country truly is blessed with richness of, of magnitudes that we can't even think of right now. Lord, we pray that you continue to remember even our children who are going back to school, starting new curriculum, trying to understand the old and the new. May you become the bridge that helps them to be comfortable in their hearts in order for them to learn in those schools so that they can lift this country up. May we, this country rise up like Singapore. May this country rise up like China. May this country be blessed of our children that they too will contribute to the country and the globe at large. Father, we pray that even and we as church leaders who walk in the churches, that we may say the things that will help build up this nation and build your word. May we say that which pleases you in every conversation. And when we are wrong, Father, may you give us the grace to come and confess that we are wrong. And Father, so we pray that for any deeds that we have committed that do not please you, forgive us. We pray for Bishop Jogona, for what he does, for the steps he takes, for the courageous walk, sometimes speaking truth that can be painful. Sometimes we're having to say things that are painful. We pray for him. We pray for the church leaders that are also from all the communities and all the churches that are represented in Kenya, that they step up and they speak truth. It is difficult, but it is the truth. Continue to sheep, shepherd your sheep so that we understand truth in the biblical way. I pray for families that are struggling. May you help them have food tonight. I pray for families that are lacking shelter. May they have shelter today. I pray for families that feel dispossessed. May you help them to find protection in the laws that we have put in this country that do not favor man, but favor God and that will look at everybody in justice and fairness. I pray these things in the name of our, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Yeah.